What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, the Uncrowned Otaku. Hey! Latest episode of Kaiju number eight dropped yesterday. And first off, we got to get one thing understood right here, right now. Hoshina is nice. Vice Captain, I just talked about him last video. He's super nice. But don't ever get it messed up or misunderstood in the game. Kafka, he not trying to hurt you, all right? So right now, he playing super defensive because if he wanted to, he hit you with a mean full power one of these, and that'd be all she wrote. So while, while Hoshina is as nice as I say he is, Kafka in his kaiju number eight form, he just trying to survive right now. He not trying to hurt the vice captain because he got the utmost respect for him. So let's not get anything misunderstood. Kafka really him. Hoshina still him, but there's different levels of him in this game. Now, with that being said, I'm happy with the episode. Like, we still got the taste of, of there being real stakes involved. Because for a second, I thought, what was it, Reno? Reno is the white-haired dude, right? And I don't know the name of the pink-haired dude. So, like I said, y'all y'all got to forgive me if I'm getting the names mixed up. So, just in case, I'm going to just call them by their hair colors. So, the white-haired dude, he, he really is nice. He stepped up. He was dodging. Uh, what was that? The other kaiju? The other humanoid kaiju? He remembered what um, Kikoro said, like, when he points at you, he's going to shoot something, so you got to watch his fingers and dodge. So while pink hair pomper dude, pomper doodle dude, he couldn't dodge him. He caught one to the chest. He caught one to the shoulder. And, and, and Reno was like, yo, use your suit. Stop the bleeding. Save yourself. I'll take care of this. Run. Go call for help. He low-key was doing what Kafka did for him in episode one. He's going to sacrifice himself so that the homie who may not be as strong can get away. So he told him, run, go get help. And when homie ran away, he was like, bro, there, there's no way to run to. I got to go save him. As much as, I, as, much as it, it pains me to admit, he could become a captain one day. I've got to save him. So while Reno's dodging all these hits, he's using his ice joint. He even, he is praying to whoever exists. He's like, God, demon, devil, whoever can do this for me, please do this for me. Give me the power of the captain. Just for this moment, he charges up his suit. He goes, weasel yield it. Total assault! Bah, 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 bah. But little did we know. Other humanoid kaiju can control corpses. Puts up a wall of corpses. So white hair do his his last ditch effort, full power, maximum assault attack. Didn't do anything. And homie, the kaiju was like, I'ma take you back and I'm experimenting on you, but I need you to be alive. So to make this easier for me, bow arm, bow arm, bow knee. Bow knee, incapacitated him. And Reno was still awake, and he was like, nah, I need, I need you to not be conscious. Bow, 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 bow. He was punishing this dude. And, and I was about to tear up because I was like, no, I love this dude. You can't take him. He's one of my favorite characters. I was about to shed a tear. And that's when Pink Popper Doodle, Pink Popper Doodle hairstyle dude comes in. He was like, bow, 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 bow. He starts using electric rounds and stuff, but still, it, to no avail. Because now, dude, pow, 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 shoots him. He's on the ground. He can't move. He tries to take Reno's gun, tries to shoot with the cold blast. The gun is broken. Homie's about to execute Pink Pomper Doodle Dude. And that's when finally Kafka, he shows up, hits that other kaiju with a mean, pow, right hand. And it's like, how dare you do it to my friends? Punching this dude up. Now, humanoid dude, he had, he was, he had all the confidence in the world. And was like, you know what? I don't know why you're fighting me. But I'm gonna have to kill you. Pow, 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 pow. Tries to hit, tries to hit Kafka. Doesn't work. Kafka gets pissed off. Hits him. Charges a full. Limb. You see, like balance beams extend from his legs to to support him from how strong this right straight is about to be. And Kafka's charging up electricity, swirling. Hits the humanoid kaiju. Busts them wide open. And Kafka sees his core and it's like, you know what? It's time I end this. Now this part is where I really start to hate humanity, but also you can't blame them. Two nameless soldiers show up, and they start shooting Kafka. And the reason I'm pissed, I understand, like, from, from the, the human side, like, yo, this is the humanoid kaiju. We know they're dangerous. I, we got to eliminate it. Pow, pow, pow. But also, if you're looking at it and you see, like, oh, wait, two kaiju are fighting each other, why don't you stop to ask yourself, why are two kaiju fighting each other? Maybe we should process this. Maybe we should let this play out for a second instead of intervening and then having two humanoid kaiju to deal with. That was the that was the only part that I was pissed about because Kafka could have ended this dude and instead with the humans getting involved, it gave the other humanoid kaiju a chance to escape. Like his core is right there. Kafka was about to crush him and eliminate this dude. But now he ran off and he told Kafka, I know how you fight now. 
When I come back, it's up for you. And he just vaporized and disappeared into thin air. Captain need to learn that trick. Because this man just like departicalized himself and, and vanished. Like if Kafka can do that, he really don't got nothing to worry about with the defense force finding him. Because he could just in his in his kaiju form, he could just disintegrate himself. But now, after that, he's still he's not gonna fight the human, so he's trying to run. But that's when he does run into Hoshin. And like I said, Hoshin is nice, but bro, it's it's levels to this niceness, all right? And Hoshin is talking about, I'm going to be the one to take you out. And Unleash is, what was it? I think it was 96% of his suit, which is an, it was either 92, 94, 96. I don't think it was 98. I think it was really 96%, which is an astronomical level. But the next episode, what I want to happen, because what I want humans to realize is there's more work to be done. Hoshin unleashes 96% of his suit, right? Kafka stops all of his attacks with like one, two hands, minimal effort. Like 96% and Kafka's just like, ah, 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 ah. boom, calm down. When I hit it, hurts you. Ah, 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 ah. Boom, calm down. I really don't want to do this to you. So that humans can realize, even with these suits, we've been fighting the pawns. Once we start fighting the knights, the rooks, the queens of the kaiju community, these suits aren't enough. We need more tech. We need more powerful tech. We need something to give us a bigger edge in the fight. Because right now we're fighting the, the mindless peons. Once we start fighting the commanders, what we have will not be enough. I need that to happen. Now, biggest question is, when do we think Kafka is going to reveal himself to Hoshina, Mina, and like the rest of the defense force? Maybe not all the defense force, but his platoon at least. Because again, Kikoro was right. He can't reveal himself to all of the defense force because they're just going to experiment on him to see how they could replicate the process and they won't let homie fight. They might not even trust him. They may just execute him. But I do think he has to reveal himself to the vice captain and captain because when these incidents happen, when other humanoid kaiju show up, he needs to be able to transform, help his teammates out without having people interfere. So I don't think next episode will be where he makes that big reveal. I don't think he trusts Hoshin enough to be that big reveal. I would predict maybe in the next like four, three or four episodes, I think they start to realize who humanoid kaiju are. Once they, the rumors start going around like, oh no, there's nice kaijus out there, then maybe he'll reveal himself to a select few that he thinks he can trust, and then he'll become part of a select trusted unit to eliminate the other humanoid kaijus. That's just what I'm thinking. Of. That's just me brainstorming out loud. I don't know what could really happen, but this anime, fire, bro. This anime, fire, bro. But like I said, I'm here with the kingdom. I'm here talking with y'all. Are y'all watching Kaiju number eight? Latest episode dropped. What do y'all think about it? Comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all that social media jazz. And if you're watching this, the day this video dropped, I will be live streaming some Tekken. And then I'll be live streaming some potentially Fortnite and maybe Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So make sure y'all uh, subscribe and hit those notification bells so you know when I'm going live. You can be in the streams with everybody else, chilling, having a good time. On Crown Kingdom, I feed body on Crown Otaku. That's the fire that keeps the kingdom burning safely. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace, bros. Peace, 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 peace.